Bits wanaongoza msafara wa Vice Chancellor pamoja na mahafala ambao siku ya leo wametulia wakisubiri kufuzu kwa siku ya leo wale ambao wamesafiri kutoka sehemu mbalimbali za Jamhuri yetu ya Kenya karibuni sana jinsi kwamba mko mahala hapa na postahili niombe sote sasa tusimame kwa heshima tunapomkaribisha mgeni rasmi mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya ni waranono kiongozo na bendi yetu tuimbe kwa pamoja na bendi yetu ni waranono Karibisha mheshimiwa rais kwa makofi anapojiunga nasi katika chuo chetu cha kibabi wapi makofi mabibi na mabwana kwa mheshimiwa rais Tuendelee kumkaribisha kwa makofi mgeni wetu rasmi mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na amiri jeshi wapi makofi shangwe na vigelegele kwa mheshimiwa rais Tuendelee kuwa watulivu Niombe sote tusimame Walio na kofia ambazo si rasmi tuweze kuzitoa. Tunapojiandaa kwa wimbo wa taifa wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na wimbo wa jumuiya za Afrika Mashariki. Wimbo wa taifa. Your Excellency, may we be seated. Your Excellency, the President, allow me to invite the Vice Chancellor Professor Parodero to constitute the Assembly 
a congregation of the Kibabi, the Vice Chancellor. In accordance with the Kibabi University Charter 2015, Section 91, and by the powers conferred upon me in the statutes, I declare this congregation the fourth convocation of Kibabi University. Thank you, sir. With your permission, Your Excellency, allow me now to invite Imam Malik and Father Festus Wesonga to lead us in a word of prayer. May we be upstanding, sir. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Mola wetu mlezi ulie mbinguni. Muumba wa mbingu na nchi na vilivyomo. Mfalme wa siku ya malipo. Mwingi wa rehema mwenye kurehemu wema na waovu li mwenguni. Na mwenye kurehemu wema peke yao kesho akhera. Tunasimama maala hapa siku ya leo. Kukutukuza, kukusifu, kukuabudu na kukuomba na kukushukuru kwa inchi yetu tukufu ya Kenya. Na kwa kaunti yetu ya Bungoma na kwa ajili ya chuo cha kuomba ewe Mola muongoze katika njia iliyonyoka. Mpe busara, mpe hekima katika uongozi wake. Tunapokaa leo na kusherekea awamu ya nne kwa ajili ya wanafunzi 1863 ambao wamehitimu katika chuo hiki. Tunaomba watakapotoka waweze kupata ufanisi katika mambo yao na katika kufanikisha miradi yao ya elimu. Ewe Mola ibariki Kenya na wa Kenya. Tunaomba haya tukiamini kwamba utatukubalia. Amina. Let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, we thank you for creating us human beings and endowing us with the special gift of intelligence. Through this gift, we become co-creators with it to live and prepare it for the next generations. Thank you for the academic journey for our brothers and sisters here graduating. Bless those who have helped them along this journey of acquiring knowledge, their parents, guardians, teachers, and people of goodwill who are not even known to them. Bless these graduates that using their knowledge, they may be eager to contribute to the greater growth and development of hard work, selflessness, humility, honesty, service to others, and many more virtues that they require to serve humanity. Thank you for the efforts of those who build this great institution, Kibabi University. May their vision always remain alive. We ask all this through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The anthem. Thank you. 
after the sunset, uh, we've been having series of entertainment from the university students. With your permission, sir, allow me to only give you one item from the university choir. They will give us a song, Kibabi Hoye. University choir, Wanjani Wenu. appreciate Kibabi University Choir na wimbo wao Kibabi Hoye. Your Excellency, with your permission, allow me to invite the Vice Chancellor, Professor Isaac, to address the congregation. Welcome, please. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, and Chancellor of Kibabi University. Members of the Kibabi University community, distinguished graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Chancellor, sir, it is a great honor to welcome you, the graduates, and our invited guests to our fourth graduation ceremony. This fourth graduation ceremony is a culmination of four years of hard, hard work of our professors, sleepless nights by our students, intellectual competition among ourselves and our peers, and a very expensive investment by the parents and guardians. 
It is therefore my pleasure to congratulate the students, thank the parents, recognize the professors, and finally appreciate the council members for their individual and collective contribution towards the attainment of this great feat. At this point, Chancellor Sir, allow me to invite Mr. Kyoko, the SGS Certification Manager, to present to you the ISO 9001-2015 certificate that was awarded to Kibabi University after fulfilling the requirements for external audit and qualification present the certificate to the chairman of council. Can we applause please? PC in charge of academic and student affairs. Your Excellency, sir, the university has since award of charter in 2015 graduated a total of 5,517 students distributed in terms of 3,124 male representing 43.4%. This year, Your Excellency, we are glad to present 1,000 863 graduates. Out of one of the women has a PhD in mathematics. We also are presenting 30, 30 graduates for confirmation of master's degrees. Out of these 30, 16 are part with bachelor's degrees. 219 and 31 will be awarded diploma and certificate respectively. In this endeavor, Your Excellency, we have received support from many exemplary support. The Speaker of Senate, who has supported us all along, Senator Moses Wetangula, Honorable Wamunyinyi Oron MP, uh, chancellors of other universities, and fellow VCs, one of them, uh, Professor Mushai, from Karatina University is here with us. And then, of course, Bungoma County Assembly. We have partnered and worked very well with them. Your Chancellor, I wish the graduates success in their future endeavors. Allow me, sir, to invite the Chairman of Council, Dr. Ernest Mwangi Njoroge. You are. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Chancellor of Kibabi University. Members of the Kibabi University community, distinguished graduates, ladies and gentlemen, you are, and all other guests to this most auspicious occasion. For the graduates, accept my sincere congratulation after enduring several years of intense learning, you have reached this day. Congratulations once again. Although only four years who have already become a force to reckon with in the competitive job market in Kenya and abroad, this is because of our endeavor to recruit quality academic staff, invest in requisite infrastructure and embrace technology intended to provide excellency sir i wish to thank your government most profoundly for providing funds which cumulatively amount to about two billion kenya shillings that have enabled us to develop kibabi university to this level we are very grateful for this your excellency your personal donations to needed students and also to the alumni association we are very very grateful because your heart is with, is with our students. I wish all, the university is committed to enhancing its quality standards, producing graduates with the requisite 
21st century skills and to align the strategic plan with the B4 agenda and, and, and the agenda things in their future endeavors. As we work towards de developing this great nation of our motherland, Kenya. Allow me, Mr. Chancellor Sir, to now invite the Cabinet Secretary for Education, Professor George Maroha, to invite you to address this congregation. Professor Magoha, sir. President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander in Chief of our Defense Forces, Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta, my colleague, uh, Tawijin Wamalwa, leader of the, the Speaker of the Senate, uh, Senator Wetangula, all other Bungoma leaders that are available here, national leaders, uh, the faculty, students, graduates, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning from you. I wish to thank you for finding time out of your very busy schedule uh, to come and award degrees to the fourth graduation ceremony of Kibabi University. This indeed is a confirmation that you attach a lot of premium to the role of university education in this country, especially in providing necessary research and academic output that is related to the Big Four agenda. Your Excellency, allow me to say just one or two things about this university. In my candid opinion, this is a good university, but I would like to challenge them. This is an agricultural area. You want to give us uh, food, I would like to challenge the leaders of this region, because I'm not a politician, so I can speak, that you should think of right-sizing and rationalizing the sugar industry. Instead of having so many of them and asking for money from all over the place. Your Excellency, remember when you took me to, to Mauritius, what I found out there was that there were originally 21 industries, and they rest to us. The Ministry of Education is in the process of instituting fundamental reforms to the education sector. And I'm very happy this morning to hear that this university has no satellite campuses. Uh, may the council continue in that manner. <laughs> I wish to inform you that some of the universities have already taken adequate steps to rationalize their programs and to redefine their research areas and agricultural areas. For example, you should do research with regard to finding sugar that can mature in less than one year. Shortly, I will request for an opportunity, Your Excellency, to brief you on the long-term reform trajectory that we are proposing as per your instructions. Your Excellency, today being your day, may I very kindly and with humility ask you to come and address me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Governor Wangamati of Bungoma and all elected leaders, the Kebabi University Council, the Vice Chancellor Kebabi University, and other Vice Chancellors present, our most important people today who are our graduates, all side over the fourth graduation ceremony of Kebabi University. We are here today to celebrate the academic achievements of these young men and women who have dedicated themselves and their energies as well as their time. So, that most of you have had to deny yourselves of some pleasures and luxurious activities that are tempting at a youthful age. You all, all you graduates, for this tremendous achievement. You have proven that your four years in academic investment at this university were not in vain. Hongera sana, pongezi, well done. Sponsors, the professors and lecturers of this institution, as well as the entire team of administration who have made tremendous sacrifice in order to see you through your university educations. Indeed, as a nation,
have made significant strides in uplifting our standard of living. We have endeavored to improve access to clean water. However, we still have challenges to contend with, the largest being the unemployment problem amongst our young people. To deal with these challenges, we have adopted a comprehensive social economic development blueprint on four key areas, comprising food security and nutrition, affordable housing, promotion of manufacturer to fillers, but to achieve them we need men and women with the requisite knowledge and skills, and also men and women who are ready to think differently. I have no doubt that the young men and women who are graduating today have been equipped with the requisite knowledge, skills, competencies, and set of values that are required to contribute to Kibabi University does is that it helps transform our thinking so that we can fully exploit the economic potential of our nation. And I am therefore pleased to be here presiding over your graduation because I know that you have received an education that will serve the kind of transformation this country is currently undertaking and cultivate ideas that this country needs in line with global as well work, uh, walk this journey successfully. Indeed, as a distinguished scholar once said, we cannot solve problems using the same thinking that created those problems. Ladies and gentlemen, higher education is a key factor in a nation's effort to develop a highly skilled workforce with new thinking orientation, an effective formal higher education system is essential for national development. And it is in appreciation of this fact that the demand for higher education in Kenya has rapidly increased over the last few decades. And to meet this demand, my administration has increased investment in institutions ever there are still major skill shortages in many sectors critical to our country's economic prosperity. And this calls for a deeper re-examination as well as reforms in our entire education system, including our, we must come up with a robust educational curricula that is designed to equip and enable the learners to develop and own intellectual capacities meant to streamline the operations of the local university sector. Indeed, today, I urge all universities to cooperate with the Ministry of Education in undertaking these reforms so as to ensure all, universi all universities are therefore required to comply with the higher standards of training that have been set up by the ministry through the Commission for University Education. Universities must also audit themselves to ensure that they get rid of the rampant duplication of degree programs as well as rationalize their staffing levels and satellite campuses, corporate governance principles in the management of their operations. Ladies and gentlemen, universities must take their place in the ongoing efforts to steady our economic development. And I therefore urge all universities to double their investment in research and innovation, that while at the same time informing our policy discourse. I believe that there is no doubt that they implement create opportunities for productive jobs, reduce poverty and income inequality, and provide a better future for all Kenyans. These intentions can only be successfully achieved 
if the planned programs are implemented in good time, guided by the principles of efficiency, effective, and good governance. Finally, I call upon all stakeholders to be fully committed to the development of our young people as we roll out the new competency curricula. I ask our universities and other institutions of higher learning, the government will continue to offer an enabling policy environment in our educational institutions in order to ensure that our young people succeed. The future of Kenya lies on the success of our young people. For you, our graduates today, I encourage you to apply the wealth of knowledge that you have acquired to make out to join values, virtues, as manifested through courage, resilience, truthfulness, honor, and justice. You today to portray the right attitude as you move to the world. I challenge you today to dare the status quo in academia, entrepreneurship, and even in politics. My rallying call to you at all times is please conduct yourselves with the highest standards of moral and ethical grounding. What blessings and every success as you embark on your future lives. As I finish, when I was here last, I offered two million shillings to be put into an endowment fund to support needy universities at this university. I am disappointed because at that time we had agreed that especially the alumni of this great university would also contribute something also in order to support future So today, I add another five million shillings to that endowment fund. However, to Kirudi to Pate ni pale pale ilikuwa, mimi ni mefika muisho sasa nyinyi sasa. Lakini mukiongeza na mimi ni taongeza. Tutembea safari pamoja, especially you graduates. Musisa au pahali mumetoka. Mutu akipata chake kidogo, arudishia saidie wenzake. So I wanted to say, since this is my opportunity, I know I'm talking to, in Bungoma, I'm also talking to Kenya. This morning I received notification, BI report. Akaniambia ya kwamba wa memaliza. Na wangependa kuja wanile. I receive it. Mimi nitasoma, lakini time nitapatia all Kenyans. Waweze waipate, waisome. My only prayer, my only prayer, especially to the political class, because I hope mimi najua wa nainchi hawa na shida. There are many to saw me. This is an opportunity to engage in meaningful and peaceful discourse. We don't want to divide the country. Address them as adults, as civilized human beings. Let us appreciate that we may have divergent views objective is to make our motherland better, to improve it. Hey, kwa hivyo hakuna haja ya matusi, sijui, kama wale wanasema, hawaitaki na hata hawajui nini kondani. Sase hiyo jameni, tunasomesha watu ndiyo wasome. Au ni namna gani? Yes, so good things that can make our country even better, more united, that can make our institutions more inclusive, that can make our country better managed through better governance structures. Sasa shida iko wapi jameni? To 
tutembee pamoja wenzangu tujenge taifa letu ndio tupate baraka ya Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hayo machache na mengi nasema kwenu nyinyi nyote muende kutoka le <laughs> najua ukiwa shule because you are just learning the theory you think ah angalia ule mjinga mimi mimi kama ni mimi ningefanya namna hii namna hii sasa ni nafasi yenu tutaona yetu yetu ni kufanya everything that we can to make sure that we support you to succeed and i have said and as i have said please never fear to challenge if you fear to challenge you will never challenge your politicians challenge them in order for them to wake up and to also see that you too have the potential and have ideas but do it so respectfully sio na mawe na mdomo ndio umesoma ndio utumie mdomo sio mkono eh si namna hiyo mungu awabariki na walinde asanteni thank you so much your excellency with your permission, sir, allow me to invite the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Solomon Shabairo, academics and students of physics and confinement of the degrees of Kibabi University. Professor Solomon. Mr. Chancellor, sir, may I call upon deans of faculties and schools to present candidates for confinement of the degree in informatics, dean faculty of education and social sciences. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present the following two candidates who in the 2018-2019 academic year satisfied the board of examiners of the faculty of science and the Senate for the confirmation of the following degree. Doctor of Philosophy in Pure Mathematics, Nyongesa Vincent Marani. <laughs> this is title, Some Linear Codes, Graphs, and Designs from the Matthew Group, M24 and M23. Supervisors, Dr. Lucy Chikamai and Professor Number two, Rukaria and graphs obtained from some projective symplectic group. Supervisors, Dr. Lucy Chikam and Professor Ireri Kamuti. I have the honor to present the following four candidates who, in the 2018-2019 academic year, satisfied the Board of Examiners of the School of Computing and Informatics and the Senate for confirmation of the following degree. Dr. Ito, Network Performance Metrics for Transition from IPv4 to IPv6 Networks. Supervisors, Professor Samuel Mbugwa and Professor Simon Yona. Thesis title, Modeling Cloud Computers, Dr. Anselimo Ikoa Peters, and Professor Franklin Wabob. Thesis title, Modeling a Secure Security Architecture on Virtualized Environments for Small and Medium Enterprises in Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Samuel Mbugwa, and Dr. Shem Bandu Angolo. Four, Owoche Patrick Odwo, Communication. Supervisors, Dr. Anselimo Ikoa Peters. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present the following four candidates who in the year in the date for the confirmation of the following degrees. Doctor of Philosophy in Curriculum and Instruction, Katiambo Dokas. This is title, 
effectiveness of classroom interaction patterns on Kenyan second students' learning outcomes in mathematics. Supervisors, Professor Stanley N. Msoso. This is title, Integration of Information Communication and Technology Skills in the Classroom, Pedagogical Practices in Public Primary Schools in Bungoma County, Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Stanley N. Msoso, Dr. Edwin Masibo. Doctor of Philosophy in Religion, Matisi Margaret Nanjala. This is title, Conflict and Unity on Growth and Development of the Pentecostal Churches. A case of the Pentecostal Evangelistic Fellowship of Africa, Pefa Church in Bungoma County, Kenya. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Planning and Management, Oma Martin Onyango. This is titled Financing of Education and Participation of Students in Siaya County, Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Julius K. And uh, walk back and stand for the uh, confirmation of their degrees. Mr. Chancellor, you may now confer the degrees. I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, and by my authority and that of the entire university, 
give power. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor Saar, may I call upon deans of faculties and schools to present diplomas and certificates in the following order. Dean, Faculty of Science, Dean, School of Business and Economics, Dean, School of Computing and Informatics, and Dean, Faculty of Education and Social Sciences. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following three candidates who in the 2018-2019 academic year, Master of Science in Pure Mathematics, Maina Lillian Janet, Kariuki Yvonne Wakuthi, Master of Science in Applied Mathematics, Mukonyo Jacinta Mutwitwa. Please be seated. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present the following 231 candidates who in the 2018-2019 academic year satisfied the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Science and the Senate for the award of the following bachelor's degrees. Bachelor of Science in Mondi, Second Class Honors Upper Division, serial number 2 to 10, Second Class Honors Lower Division, serial number 11 to 21. Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, Education and Extension. Second Class Honors Upper Division, serial number 1 to 34. Second Class Honors Lower Division, serial number 35 to 56. Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and Biotechnology, First Class Honors. Haoya Martin Crisant Honors, Lower Division, Serial Number 13 to 18. Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, First Class Honors, Kalasa Peter Daniel, Muema Fidelis Mutunga. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, 54, Pass, Serial Number 55. Bachelor of Science, in Bioresource Management and Conservation. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Serial Number 1 to 9. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Serial Number 10 to 11. Bachelor of Science in Biology, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Serial Number 1 to 11. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Serial Number 12 to 15. Bachelor of Science, in Renewable Energy and Biofuels Technology, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Serial Number 1 to 4, Second Class Honors Lower Division Ministry, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Serial Number 1 to 62, Bachelor of Science in Physics, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Serial Number 1 to 2, Second Class Honors Lower Division, Serial Number 3 to 14. Pass, serial number 15. Please be seated. Mr. Chancellor Saar, I have the honor to present the following 11 candidates who in the 2018-2019 academic year satisfied the Board of Examiners of the School of Business and Economics and the Senate for the confirmation of the following master's degrees. Master of Business Administration, Finance Option, Mukambi Shem Wangila, Chisamba William Wafula, Mdombi, Mokua Jackson Wanga, Master of Business Administration Strategic Management Option, Asisi Ida Goretz, Chepcheng Kiblagat Elisha, Chesgor Felix Kipto, Master of Science in Human Resource Management, 
Mukewa Ebi Mukoye. Muhebi Helen Nafula. Ndombi Alice Nangila. Please be seated. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following 129 candidates who in the 2018-2019 academic year certified the Board of Examiners of the School of Business and Economics and the Senate for the confirmation of the following bachelor's degrees. Bachelor of Commerce, Finance Option, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Serial Number Option, First Class Honors, Mwebi Mokaya, Wesonga Amos Wafula, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Serial Number 3 to 46, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Serial 47 to 60, Purchasing a supply chain management option, second class owners, upper division, serial number one to 31. Second class owners, lower division, serial number 32 to 56. Human source management option, second class owners, upper division, serial number one to two. Second class owners, second class owners, lower division, serial number three to four. Insurance and risk management option. First class owners, Munguti, Chule Moses. Second class honors, upper division, serial number two. Please be seated. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following 75 candidates who, in the 2018 2019 academic year, certified the Board of Examiners of the School of Business and Economics and the Senate for the award of the following diploma Diploma in Business Management. Accounting option, distinction, Ivasha Patience, Kubai Levi Nyongeza, credit one, zero number three to ten, credit two, zero number eleven to twenty-two, purchasing a supply chain, Daniel Kombua, Obiambo Lawrence Lumumba, Wandera Loma, credit one, Serial number 5 to 28. Credit 2, serial number 29 to 46. Human source management option. Credit 1, serial number 1 to 2. 5. Please be seated. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following six candidates who, in the 2018 2019 academic year, served the Board of Examiners of the School of Business and Economics and the Senate for the award of the following certificate. Certificate in Business Management. Distinction. Kisuya Diana Nasambu. Watitwa Dokas Machuma. Credit one, zero number three to four. Credit two, zero number five to six. Please be seated. 